Hey guys, what's up? You're here. We have a dragon to slay. We're on Death Mountain Trail. We're gonna stop by Goron City, meet with the king, get a bracelet that allows us to pick up bomb flowers so we can start bombing stuff. But then that'll give us access to the actual cavern itself. Along the way, we're gonna get a bomb bag that's gonna allow us to carry bombs and then we can blow up stuff anytime we want. Pretty sweet. And we're gonna use those to fight the dragon. We have a dragon to slay. Once we do that, we have a couple of fairy fountains to go to, get, a, get some magic, a spin attack, stuff like that. You know why you're here. We're playing the original Nintendo 64 version. Of course, we're playing it on the Nintendo Switch. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. We have a dragon to slay, and we're gonna do it in three, two, one, let's go. Alright guys, we have a dragon to slay. Here we are, Death Mountain Trail, going up to Goron City. What you don't want to do right away is go to the left here. Actually, just go over to the right. And watch out for this guy. Kind of head to your left as you go along. In the future, there's actually a cool little secret right here. You can actually play the uh, Song of Storms. And when the rainfall exposes that hole in the ground. So. Goron City. This little city. Home of the Gorons. There's one right there. Hello, dude. Um, it's comprised of many different levels. And on a couple of these levels, they actually interconnect to other places, uh, like the Lost Woods. We saw that last time when we were on, in the Lost Woods, and I mentioned, oh, there's the entrance to Goron City. But right away, the first thing we want to do is head down to the bottom level. That is our first task. Now... You can take stairs. I've just kind of been jumping off the ledges here. And you can see that there are these... These are called bomb flowers. They're all over this place. Okay. And these bomb flowers, we can't actually pick them up yet. Because they uh, require a special piece of jewelry, if you will something that we can get so right here navi's trying to tell us something there's not a triforce symbol here however it does hear that chime require our triforce song or zelda's lullaby to gain entrance into this next room last time as we were gathering up the mighty collection. I hope you guys saw that. Uh, that was number two in the, uh, the brand new uh, series that I'm doing here. And in the mighty collection, we actually went over to the Lost Woods, deep within, saw Sarah and learned Sarah's song. So that is actually what we need to play now. Uh, that song is exactly what this guy wants to hear. Right down up, right down up. Let's see if I can remember it. <laughs> so, all right. This is the guy. What the heck? Who are you? When I heard the song of the royal family, I expected the messenger had arrived, but you're just a little kid. Has Dardunia, the big boss of the Gorons, really lost so much status to be treated like this by his sworn brother, the king? Now, I'm really angry. Get out of my face now. Are you asking why I'm in such a bad mood? Ancient creatures have infested Donango's cavern. We had a poor harvest of our special crop. Bomb flowers. That's their special crop. Starvation and hunger because of the rock shortage. But this is a Goron problem. We don't need any help from strangers. Okay. Well, that went well. What if we play him a song, though? 
That's not the song. I, I <laughs> down. <laughs> I told you I'd, I'd mess it up. Right down, up, right. Okay, that's, I, I went to the wrong one. There we go. <laughs> down, down, right, left. Okay. <laughs> I'm so horrible with that. Feel free. If you guys want to just let me have it for being a complete forgetful moron with regard to these songs, let me have it in the comments. Because, my goodness. Would you look at this? The dude likes the song, doesn't he? Especially when you play the right one. Oh. Oh, oh. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. He likes the song. What a hot beat. Doesn't take much, right? Hey, what a nice tune. Just like that, my depression is all gone. Something just came over me. I suddenly wanted to dance like crazy. I am Dardunya. Darunya. I'm the big boss of the Gorons. Was there something you wanted to ask me about? What? You want the spiritual stone of fire too? The spiritual stone of fire, also known as Goron's Ruby, is our race's hidden treasure. But, hold on. I'm not going to give it to you that easily. If you want it so badly, why don't you go destroy the monsters inside of Danango's cavern to prove you're a real man? That way, everyone will be happy again. If you do it, I will give you anything you want, even the spiritual stone. I have something for you. I'm not really giving you this in return for anything, but take it anyway. If you wear this, even a little fella like you can pick up bomb flower using your A button. And there it is. The Goron's bracelet. This is the first, all right, check it out, right there. On our left wrist, you can see that gold band. There it is. All right, that is the bracelet that imbues us with the strength and the power, if you will, to um, to pick up bomb flowers. It, this is actually one of let's call it three. Uh, later on, there are other uh, things that we wear. The gauntlets. Uh, spoilers, and those gauntlets allow us to um, pick up insanely heavy things. But this is kind of round one, the little kid version, if you will. Kind of, that's what I kind of liken it to. Now, there's something that you can do right here. This takes a little patience and sometimes can actually be difficult to do. What I'm about to show you. All right, so lighting this. You can actually come right out of this throne room. And the goal here, like in, remember the Deku tree where we had to go around, light all the torches in succession? Well, when you do that, I love how he spins after that. Always swipe your sword afterwards, make sure that stick doesn't burn away. What that does is, check it out, this giant urn here on this bottom floor this will actually start spinning. There is a prize inside of that. You can also do this one other cool thing. Check it out. You can light a bomb flower on a wall with a Deku stick and it'll drop down, blow up, and look at this. There's a Goron shop inside. Welcome. In here, uh, there's a Goron tunic red potion, you can see some hearts, and you can buy bombs. Well, we can't carry bombs just yet. A bomb bag is something that we'll actually get in our quest to slay the dragon. So, first things first. Believe me, I, uh, I've been questioning whether I should give this a try, and I, I kind of want to try it just once, maybe twice. If I fail miserably, as I sometimes do, it's a little. Sometimes it can be difficult to get the throw just right. Um, then we'll, we'll just move on. But you never, 
Okay, that's that's a brilliant way to start right there. All right, let's give that another try. See, a little bit of patience. This can be kind of tricky. Missed. You got to get right inside that top hole of the urn, obviously. When you do, it blows up, and you get the special. <laughs> yeah, baby. Third time's a try. I love it. I'm glad we did try it. So yeah, throw it in the urn. And... Where's our prize? Oh, crap. I... Th mm. Alright, still spinning. Do we have to do it again? Forgive me for my lack of memory here. Um, however, we made it once. Perhaps we can do it again. Missed. Okay. It might require a second throw. Because I don't see the piece of heart. Unless I completely missed it. And therefore, I'm a big goober for that. Oh, crap. Uh-huh. Alright, we're going to try it one more time. I do not want to belabor this and go on too long doing this. But, I don't know. If you're into this kind of thing, the trial and error of such a task, then please, you know, go for it. Um, and, okay, yep. Wait a little too long there. He, and here's, that's the thing. Getting the timing right so that he's coming towards you right here in the, shoot! Okay. That's the goal, okay? You throw it in there, and I, I, eventually, yes, it will render out and give you a piece of heart. Now that we have the bracelet, let's head on out, which requires us to go back up to the very top level again. Meanwhile, I am low on hearts. I did not tank up on fairies. I wish I had. Um, yeah, that's the way out. The tunnel. The ramp that has the light, obviously, that is what you want. So, what you want to do here is grab this bomb flower and toss it over the side that I get close enough. I did. Cool. It blows that right there. You hear that chime, you're good to go. There's one other trick you can do. And sometimes it can be tricky because you kind of want to lock on to... Oh, crap. Here we go. Alright. So, if you face this way, crouch down. Nope. Give me that. Oh, shoot. Try it again. If you crouch down, you can actually do a backflip here. keep locking onto that. Give me a second. Missed. Alright, there's a ledge up there with a piece of heart. And you can actually land on it. I didn't quite get it right that time. Um, you can land on that ledge and get that piece of heart ahead of time. Otherwise, what it does require is you plant your magic beans uh, there, and when that plant grows, as an adult, you can ride the magic leaf up to that ledge and, and grab the piece of heart. However, you can do it as a kid, and that's what I was just trying here. Um, and I, I've done this a hundred times, done it perfectly every time. I made it. Okay. And there you go. Backflip off. Get our piece of heart. Which tanks up our hearts. Nice. So. Dandango's Cavern is right here. Do I still have any bugs? I do not. So. Let's see. However, I know where we can get some. And at the same time, 
Let's head out. It, it's not uh, not a really long run. We're gonna head over to the graveyard. Let's see, shoot, I do not have my bomb bag yet. Well, crap. Okay. Last time, where we defeated the uh, the redead, and there is that chest with a piece of heart. There is a bombable wall right there. And with the bomb bag, you know, when you can carry your own bombs, you can blow the wall, and then um, with the with that wall exposed, you then have you then have um, what do you call it? The ability to get to a uh, fairy's fountain right there so hoping that there were bugs there there are not but this is where we can plant some bugs in the future and to get a gold skull tella here we are with our bomb bracelet we now have the ability to pick up this bomb flower and blow the door start working our way to that dragon we must slay Dodongo's Cavern. Right off the bat, you want to head to the left. Listen. Thank, thank you, Navi. Yes, there's lava down there. Lovely Beemos there in the middle. So, first off, grab the bomb flower. And we'll put it right here. That is a wall that we can bomb. Okay. This should be our compass. Sorry, map. Okay. Compass is after. Alright, so yeah, we have a dungeon map. And the, the compass is a little bit further on. Alright. Also, you can grab this bomb. Carry it past the Beemos. And actually, there's not a wall there that we need to bomb. This is a business guy. I can't remember what he's selling. Let's find out. Oh. Which is actually... Um, that's helpful. There's a lot of fire, obviously, in this level. And having a source to get another um, thing is very helpful. So, there's our map. We can head over back to the right side now. This, this room is separated into two sides. Another bombable wall there. Opens that up. And yeah, that was helpful, huh? But yes, there are things that you can bomb here. There's Mr. Bemos, and then this is our second bombable wall. So again, grabbing a bomb flower. Making our way past this annoying guy here. Opens up the door, giving us access to this part. This is the first section in which we see these little, these baby, baby dragons, basically. Um, and you can slay them around, along the way. I'm trying, okay, yeah, I'm trying not to let them touch me there. And they, they blow. If you uh, hit them or they hit you, they, uh, they blow up. They have the kindness of uh, self-emulation. Hello, dude. Excuse me. Where is that? Okay. What I want to find is I thought that I thought I did I pass guys help me out. 
Did you guys see a, a bomb? I thought I saw a bomb flower. Um, guess I did not. Well, crud. Okay. There's a wall that we can bomb there. I, I know. Navi keeps telling me that there is something up here. Um, another way into that door, though, is to uh, blow up one of those baby dragons, and that can work. All right, so these statues you can take, pull, and move. This is something that's kind of throughout this dungeon. In this case, we use it to weigh down this heavy switch. And in doing so, it raises the bars, giving us access to the next section. All right, this keys here. Thank you. All right, this is the first of a couple rooms in which we run into some of our old friends here. Okay, that's that's good. Here we go. All right, that's good. What they do is they, they kind of tag team off. Um, you injure one, and then the other one wants to come and get you. Like so. And why don't you come over here, okay? Nope, don't think so. Here we go. He's scared off. The other one is right there. Sometimes it helps to be in a, a, a larger section to have just a little bit more room to, to move. There's, there's a hit. Stop it. Crud. Come on, keep the shield up. There we go. One down. The other one now wants a piece of me. Come on, dude. There's a hit. There's a hit, and he's gone. All right. Two of them. When that happens, the door opens up, allowing us to get out of here. If we had the compass, we know which way we're going. I'm really hoping this is the right door. It is the right door. Good. All right. So. We are in another kind of long hallway here. Darn it, I threw the bomb. I hate it when that happens. All right. Picking up the bomb flower once again. Luckily, they respawn quickly and easily. Yeah, good job, Eric. All right. Third time's a try. All right. Here we go. Put it down. Thank you. Hate that. Hate it. Silly, silly mistake, but it happens. Alright. What does he have? Uh, deco. Uh, no, I don't need any deco sticks. Thank you, though. Goodbye. Okay. Yeah, there, there's lots of little side rooms off these long hallways. Some of them have really important things, and others don't. Oh! It is another new one. This guy breathes fire. Remember what I was saying about all the fire in this dungeon? That fire will actually uh, burn up your shield right quick. So you can switch to the Hylian shield, obviously, which is uh, fireproof, being that it's metal. So what I did is I just did a little quick little tour and as you can see, as we went down this hallway, taking a look at our surroundings, um, there are several more torches that we need to light. 
Okay, man, I thought that sucker was glitching out. Am I, they're gonna make me reset this? They are. Wow. Thank you for the glitch. Okay. Let's go get some more flame. Just quicker that way to kind of reset. Let's try it again. Oh, I love it when that happens. All right. Thank you, game. All right. Torch. 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 Three torches. Light them up with your Deku stick. Throw your sword. Put away the stick. And we are through. Now, we just kind of just this big arc worked our way through a couple different hallways why do we do that it brought us to this this was a ledge that we passed by on this side of the room and it's only accessible by doing that you see the bomb flower is right below that on this side and basically though other than that you can't of course reach that Ah, crud. The, the lava's not that bad, but uh, falling in is just embarrassing. Yeah, thank you. Um, so, yeah, on that end, you come out. You hit the switch. Cross over to this side of the room. I believe the right side. And then, basically, brings us to this giant room. These, believe it or not, are stairs. Okay, we're going to get to those in just a second, but first, I blew that wall so we can go into this room. This room is hiding a lovely little prize for us. A couple of ways that you can tackle this area. Uh, one way is to... Uh, this will take them off. Okay, that didn't do it. Shoot. All right. Behind that statue, that statue actually animates and comes to life. Yeah. Oh. No, no. Come back here, come back. He's coming. Darn it, I wanted to keep him right next to that. And I hurt myself, and then guess what? Now I'm low on hearts, I swear. If I let this hurt me, it's gonna stink. All right, let's try something here. Or you can do that. Do an end run around him. Open up the chest. Grab our compass. And then get the heck out. Oh, crap. Yep, they're going to make me fight him. And I'm low on hearts. That stinks. Okay. He is not happy, and now he's gone. That does unlock the door. And I got to get some hearts real quick. Be prepared. Guess who wasn't prepared? <laughs> oh, crud. I could have bought potions, gotten some fairies. Uh, yeah, guess who's embarrassed? Okay, we'll have to do it on the top level. Sorry about the noise, guys. All right, so the goal here is put the bomb right in the middle, and then what happens is blows the bombs all around the big staircase, which then drops it down, creating the hidden stairs, basically. Got a little Indiana Jones kind of thing going on there. Which is so cool. Alright. Oh, little, little Link. You little guy. It's not easy for him to get up these stairs. Alright. Oh, thank you. Oh, I love that noise so much. Okay. This is how we gain access to the, uh, the second level. I love auto jump. The second level of uh, this dungeon. 
Espera aí. I really love the sounds in Wind Waker. Yup, yup. You know the little sounds he makes as he, um, as Link tries to do the same kind of thing. All right, so guess what? A couple of old baddies here. Remember these guys, of course. But we have one more up here that we're gonna get. Hey, well, would you look at that? That chime means that our prize is ready. And we got another gold skull tall up. Beautiful. Where are we at? We're at 20. It's that's the next thing that we need to get a uh, prize from the House of Skulltala. All right, here we are. Speaking of fire, sometimes it pays to preemptively put away that Deku shield, strap on the Hy Hylian shield. Those keys, I mean, if you're just off your guard for one second and they tag you, you're gonna lose that shield. So, you know, a, 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 yeah, like that. He just got me. Well, jerk. All right, got him. All right. More statues in this room. However, this room, pull him aside, ascend the ladder, step on the switch, lifts the bars from the door, giving us access to the next section. More fire keys up ahead. Again, be really wary of these guys. They will take your shield. They'll burn it to a crisp and it'll be gone. Um, so, you know, you either take your chances or uh, this room. Or you don't. All right. These are a little, what, a sling blades? Something like that? Or spring traps? I'm not. Actually, what was that spring trap? That's uh, Five Nights at Freddy's? Um, my son likes that. Actually, we watched the movie. So predictable. Still kind of fun. Wasn't the worst video game to movie adaptation ever made. But, um, yeah, we did watch Five Nights at Freddy's. All right. So, there is a stone here that you can pull back. Little hidden heart back there. We can now climb this sucker. Talk about patience. Uh, this... Thank you. This always annoys the crap out of me. Sometimes I'll get it the first try. Other times it takes three or four. It's one of those nights. All right. The goal here, grab the bomb flower. You want to throw it across and land it on that ledge you know, at the top of the ladder there. See, there's, there's a ledge there. And to, to blow that wall. Sometimes it takes a couple tries. Or 10. Now, I mean, that can be that can be a frustrating puzzle. Uh, skill? Not really a puzzle, is it? All right. So, the goal here is take out your slingshot, shoot the eye, it kills the flame. Like so. It's on a timer, so you don't want to dilly dally. Shoot! Ah, oh, thank you for hitting me. Shoot it. Move on. Room number two. All right. Yeah. Guess who? We got the lizard twins again. Would you stop it? All right. Oh. oh. That was dumb. There's one. Let's go over here. Oh, crap. Oh. 
Minus two. Yeah, this is the room though. If you carefully go out on this ledge, you do not want to fall down. A couple of very helpful hearts. Especially when this guy just kind of almost threw that fight. That was embarrassing. So I'll get out of that. All right. Here we go. All right, so. Just like last time, defeating them raises the bars brings us to the next area this one is slightly different challenge what you what we need to do is shoot the eye jump over quickly shoot this eye shuts the second flame down run across there and there, there are jars down there i should have gotten some hearts but oh well all right Okay, defeated them, raise the bars, go down that hallway, shoot, turn to the left, shoot, run across the big prize. We now have a bomb bag. What does this mean? Well, this is now an equipable weapon, and it has 20 bombs inside. Now we can use bombs anytime we want. Okay, we don't have to look for bomb flowers and that kind of thing. So a really wonderful thing. We have a bomb bag. Also, on this second level, by hitting that switch gives us a quick elevator from that bottom level where we were, where the two sides of the room where we entered into the cavern. Uh, it gives us this elevator, if you will, that uh, and he's telling us right now, a moving platform. It takes us from the bottom level to the top. You don't have to go to, to the stairs and all those other hallways and stuff. Uh, it's just a, a way to get to this area. Yeah, quickly. So, I'm switching back to the Hellion Shield. Meanwhile, back to the subscreens. Let's get our new prize. And as you can see, we now have a bomb icon. And booyah. Now we can pull out and use bombs anytime we want. That is essential and crucial for the next section of this dungeon because this is like the big puzzle that we've been working towards getting. I dropped a bomb right off the edge here, right? And see that bomb actually ignites the kind of the eye socket of this uh, big skull. And you stand right on the edge, just drop the bomb down when both eyes are red, he opens up his mouth. Very cool. There you go. There we go. All right. We are not done yet, though. This just gets us to the next section. One step closer to that dragon we must slay. So we are getting closer. A lot more fire keys in this section. So be wary. You might want to switch to a shield. Yeah, like, to a shield that yeah, you just tagged me. Thank you for tagging me like that. Alright. And where are you? <laughs> Found him. You little prick. Alright. There we go. Hate it when they sneak up on me. Okay, so. You see the bars on the door there. Oh. Some quick grass. Thank you. All right. The goal here is we can't do anything yet. There is a switch here. It's a blue switch. It requires something kind of heavy uh, to hold it down. 
And in that case, we don't have anything yet. This room doesn't have that. So we gotta go find that. So kind of like before, where we came out on a higher ledge. This is similar. We have to make our way, and I just went the wrong way. Follow your compass, Eric. All right. And there we go. We have to make our way around the next couple of hallways, some obstacles, keys, and some other fun stuff, uh, just so we can uh, hit that switch, which should then give us, ah, uh, would you stop? Which would then give us access, thank you. Oh, you got me again. See what I mean? I would have lost that Deku shield several times at this point. However, we have the Hellion Shield, and we have not lost it, so, yeah, I took a hit, but I'd rather take a hit and keep my shield than, than not. Alright, so, there is a place right here, with our bomb bag, we can now use one of those bombs for the first time. I pressed that yellow button where we mapped it, boom. Okay, duh. We used it to light up the, the eye sockets, didn't we? But. Gold Skull Tala. Hiding right there. Let's get the heck out. We, uh, we got what we needed. I just want to blow that. Kill the, uh, the Skull Tala. And then we move on. Alright. And there's another one. Thank you. At least they have been really gracious in uh, keeping me stocked up with hearts, given that I was far from prepared, right? Um, I do love that. Okay, so. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, I forgot about this. Love it. All right, we are mapping a bottle and we are grabbing that fairy. Oh, thank you, game. Thank you for providing. And more bombs, beautiful. Okay, remember the blue switch. And I said we had to come out on a higher ledge. This is that ledge. And this is the thing that we need to actually hold down in that switch. Um, One. Two. Okay. Grabbing this. Just like before. You know, we've done this in a couple different places. Uh, the other dungeons and such. Heck, we moved a bunch of crates around to get that heart piece in the back of the property of Lalon Ranch. So really similar. Grab your big old block here. Drops down onto that blue switch I showed you earlier. And now, remember the compass? We talked about, I know that I came from this direction. See the red? And that's that higher ledge there. So the door that the bars just opened is right here. You didn't, you may not have seen it, but on the map, there is a there was a white skull there and that indicates that there is our dungeon boss this is a bombable floor and the game's like here you're gonna need bombs yes i know um putting away my fairy bottle i don't want to accidentally press it but the great thing about a fairy is if i lose all five of the hearts that i have right there by the way, we just blew that. Nice. Uh, the fairy automatically triggers and, and restores our life for us. We are going to drop down into the chamber. This is where you do want the Hellion Shield. Crucial to what we need to do. This is kind of a, uh, a process of defending yourself against him 
throwing bombs into his mouth, and you know, it's it's the old one-two punch kind of thing. And let's see, missed it. Great way to start. All right, this is where the Hylian shield pays off. I want to show you that. All right, he rolls around. I completely futz that up, but guess what? Throw a bomb into his mouth, take out your sword, and start going at him. By holding down your shield button with the Hy Hylian shield, you, you know, it goes onto your back, okay, and it protects your back, and he can just roll right, roll right over you, which is pretty cool. All right, am I? Uh, Sometimes it's just stupid to follow him. Sometimes it pays. All right, here, good. All right, here we go. Z target, take out a bomb, press the bomb, throw it into his mouth, get out your sword. Shield. You see the sparks coming off the shield? Yeah. That's what you want. That protects you from his massive scaly body taking you out. All right, here we go. Throw a bomb into his mouth. Booyah. Take out your sword. Give him a good swipe. Doesn't take much. So again, you throw the bomb in the mouth and you know, when you have that bomb out, you just press that bomb button again by pressing forward. That's that, that throwing motion. And with the Z targeting, it lands in his mouth, stuns him enough to where, yes, a couple of forward slashes with your sword, and he's good to go. Like other dungeon bosses, like other bosses, the bad guy, his carcass kind of gives up a heart container. Beautiful. It gives us a whole new heart container. And then what do we do? into the portal and we leave the dungeon it's me Darunya well done Thanks to you, we can once again eat delicious rocks from Danango's cavern until our stomachs burst. What a wild adventure. It'll make for an incredible story. I can't believe that the Danango's suddenly appeared in such great numbers. And that big rock blocking the cave? All this trouble must have been caused by that Gerudo thief Ganondorf. He said, give me the spiritual stone. Only then will I open the cave for you. You, on the other hand, risk your life for us. Kid, I like you. How about you and I become sworn brothers? No, there is no big ceremony involved. Just take this as a token of our friendship. Number two. Remember what Princess Zelda said. We need three spiritual stones. We brought her the one from the forest that we got from the Deku tree. We now have this one. One more to go. She's a beaut. You obtained Goron's Ruby. This is a spiritual stone of fire passed down by the Gorons. Love the name though, by the way. My, one of my daughter's middle names is Ruby, named after my wife's grandmother. So uh, we, we really like that name around here. You don't know what it means by Swarm Brothers, but you've collected two spiritual stones. You have one more to find. Brother, you keep brushing up on your skills. And as you travel, won't you? You should go see the great fairy at the top of Death Mountain. She will power you up. Hey, everybody, let's see off our brother.
Yeah, they want to give me a hug. You're doing the right thing, Link. Run away, buddy. And there you have it. Dandango's Cavern. Pretty cool. All right. Let's do that one more thing. Because next time, we have another spiritual stone to get. Oh, come on. There we go. You can blow those rocks. Without the bomb bag, we couldn't do that. But now we can. There's also a rock here that we can blow. Revealing a little secret. I do not need the hearts right now. However... Any bugs? No? Okay. There is a cow. Alright. I'm gonna leave the hearts for next time. In case I need them, I'll stop off and get them. Right now, it'd be a waste to just pick those up. So, as he said earlier, when we saw the King Goron dude, this is an active volcano. There's a couple different ways in which you can do this. Sometimes you can just barrel ahead, right? It's not the wisest thing to do. But, um, or you take your time holding down our shield button. The Hylian shield gives us all the protection we need from these falling lava rocks. And you're gonna do that like two, three times before you get right up to here. And eventually the rocks stop. Because we have another challenge, which is... These guys are on the wall. Not that big of a challenge, obviously, but you do want to snipe them out before you keep climbing. You know, they will attack you as you climb, which is not fun. One shot with your slingshot, and you're good to go. Anyway, but if they attack you, right, they not only will hurt you, but they'll send you flying down. So, we're going to ascend this a couple different times, especially, like, later on, um... You can actually check out my video on the uh, getting the bigger run sword, and that's a whole timed out thing. And it, you're on a timer, and you have to deliver fresh products everywhere. So, all right, he said there was a fairy fountain up here. And this is it. Triforce symbol. What do we do? Get out of our arena. Play our Triforce song. Zelda's Lullaby. <laughs> These ladies. I mean, all the way up to breath. Tears. The great fairies are... They're interesting. I, I do love how, you know, when you're upgrading your armor, uh, when, the, the, when they hug you and do all that stuff to you, it's kind of it's kind of humorous. Um, you know, in, in Tears of the Kingdom, Breath of the Wild. Um, but anyway, all right, so what she's going to do is... She is going to tank us up with a new magical ability. And maybe after that she can go clothes shopping. Just kidding. Yeah, yeah, I guess there's not much need for clothes in Fairyland. You mastered the secret sword technique, the spin attack. Hold down B to charge your weapon, and then B to unla unleash a wave of energy. If you want to release energy without charging weapon, just rotate your stick once, press B for a very equi effective quick spin. When you charge power for a spin attack, magic power will be consumed, so pay attention to your magic meter. Hey boy, you're a messenger of the royal family, aren't you? Next time you're in their neighborhood, 
You should drop in on my friend of mine who lives by Hyrule Castle. It's true. She'll grant you another new power. My battle has made you weary. Please come back to me. Yeah, that's another thing. When you, when you visit these people, the fairy, either now or in the future, uh, they'll they'll tank up your hearts for you. So what you see here is right under our six hearts up there. That is a magic meter where we now have magic power uh, ability. And which is very cool. Let's talk to Mr. Owl here. He he's actually can be helpful in this part. If you kind of, you can grab onto his talons. Takes us on a cool flight down. Nice little time saver. This is also important because of this. Don't jump off this roof. Yet. Right on this side, if you slowly, see that little oh. ledge right there? We drop down, okay? It's the only way you can access this. And well, would you look at that? Easy peasy piece of art right there. Nice. So again, head right off to the, that right side there, that little ledge, and booyah. Bob's your uncle, right? <laughs> All right. Yes. All right, we're going to go do something. All right, it is nighttime. We're in the graveyard. And I believe it's right up here. The fourth. One, two, three, four. Hope, hope this is the one. This is the one. This is not the one. Okay. It's the other one. Pardon? Alright, let's go down here then. Pull back this one. Okay. First row, second grave. If you recall, I've mentioned it a couple times, we saw it last time. Blow the wall, giving us access, because we have our bomb bag now. And would you look at that? This is a great little location for a uh, fairy fountain. Love this place. So, mapping a bottle. Use a bottle. And now we have our two fairies. Beautiful. Of course, at some point I may need to use one of those fairies. Of course, empty the bottle until I get the third one. Because then, because uh, we might, you know, more bugs. But for now, it's nice to have them. So there you have it. Dundango's Cavern, Death Mountain, Great Fairy, Magic, Spin Attack, not bad. And you're wondering, okay, what's he doing now? I'm thinking seriously, seriously about going over to Hyrule Castle to that other Great Fairy, and then we'll call it quits for the night. Yes, Navi. Perfect timing. You gotta love it. We almost had the song there, but we left. 
A song for Hyrule Field. All right, back to the marketplace. Straight on through to the other side. Jim Morrison, primary. Some of you will get that joke. All right. There's this break on through to the other side, isn't it? Which is still appropriate given what we're about to do. Jumping off the ledge. The guards won't get you this way. We pull out one of our new bombs. Place it down, blow the wall. And guess what's here? He scooches his way through. Hello, great fairy fountain. It's like your sister was just telling you, telling us about you, All right? Mapping our ocarina, we play our Triforce song, of course, given the symbol on the ground. And there she is. <laughs> Welcome, Link. I am the great fairy of magic. I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. Din's fire. It's a good one. Okay. With Din's fire, you can light anything. You can use it as a weapon. Uh, but most of all, there you know, if there's a, a room of torches, two torches nearby, you just light that up and it creates this big ball of fire. It's fantastic. So it's it's my favorite one, really, out of all of them. And it, it's it's very useful. And specifically useful. Especially like uh, when we were gaining access to the Shadow Temple. Um, and you can check out that video. That's available on my channel. Shadow Temple. Uh, and just prior to that, in the, the level uh, that we did before the Shadow Temple. That is where... Um, you know what? Easiest way out here. Get caught. Let them kick us out. And we're out. Okay. There you have it, guys. Dandango's Cavern. We saw two great fairies. Got our bomb bag. Uh, been a pretty good haul. Nice little adventure for this time. Next time, we are going to do Lord Jabu Jabu's Belly. Which is uh, strangely really popular. Um, this will be my remake of that dungeon. And the last time around, it was one of my very most popular. Uh, I was kind of surprised by that. So, that is what we're doing next time. Completely new recording of uh, Lord Jabba Jabba's Belly. And uh, where we'll get uh, Princess Rudo, the uh, Spiritual Stone of Water. Which will be our third one. And then we head straight to the Temple of Time. And the game just changes from there. So, uh could be great guys thank you so much for joining me this is loud boy this has been donango's cavern join me next time for lord jabba jabba's belly until next time you guys have a really good evening thanks again bye